presentation of Fox Sports. We are Baltimore. We are LA. Tough go for the Angels through the first two games of the series here against the New York Yankees tonight from Yankee Stadium. It is game number three as they try to right the ship. Hi, everybody from inside Yankee Stadium. We welcome you back to Angels baseball here on Fox Sports West along with Mark Gubiza. I'm Victor Rojas. And as I mentioned, two tough losses for the Angels here at Yankee Stadium. Seven straight losses. What is it about this ballpark and the Angels? Yeah, I'll tell you what, Victor. Part of it is because the, the Yankees at home are the Angels at this ballpark. Eight and 22 at the new Yankee Stadium the Angels have been out like I mentioned 14 to 6 as far as being out homered 40 to 21 out score no seven games of which the Angels have lost in a row at the stadium we're going to explain that as we get along here during the game as far as what is the big reason why the baseball carries so well in this ballpark and why the Yankees play much better this yard than the Angels are compared to what they used to play at the old Yankee Stadium and won 12 or 13 the last 13 series at the old Yankee Stadium. Well the Halos have been stymied on the offensive side throughout this series so far one constant on the road trip however has been Cole Calhoun a couple of home runs. Yeah Victor he's been hitting the ball very very well the center field the right center field he's been locked in this entire road trip 368 batting average for Cole Calhoun. Why? He's getting that foot down that timing mechanism down and clearing the path for the barrel of the bat to be able to make good connection with the fastball off speed whatever it's going to be out over the plate. He's been swinging the bat well dead center field. You see the home run here in Yankee Stadium, his first career home run at this ballpark. It's three home runs, seven RBI for Cole on this road trip. Top four guys in the lineup against Evaldi, all hitting around 400. They're going to need that big swing from Cole tonight. See if Cole and the Angels office can get it going. We're just veterans for baseball in the Bronx. Sit back and relax. Lineup's the first pitch when we return. This telecast of Angels Baseball on Fox Sports West is brought to you by Hyundai. Great deals on amazing cars are going on now at your Hyundai dealer. Visit buyhyundai.com today. By Jack in the Box, the Portobello Mushroom Buttery Jack is back. Taste it before it's gone. By Mercury Insurance, on a mission to save you money. Log on to mercuryinsurance.com to get a fast free quote and see how much you can save. And by the Jeep Renegade. Find your inner renegade and reach your highest potential with an EPA estimated 31 highway miles per gallon.
a four game series, all four night games. The Angels dropping game one on Monday night by the final of five to two. Last night it was six to three. The offense sputtering along in the series after swinging the bats well in Pittsburgh. Trying to figure out Nathan of all the tonight. And we'll take a look at Mike Social's lineup for the Angels for game number 59 on the season. Halos at 26 and 32, now 10 back in the American League West. Escobar leading things off at third base. Calhoun at right, Trout at center. Pujols DHing once again. Jeffrey Marte tonight gets a start at first base. Johnny Giavatello at second. Rafael Ortega at left. Carlos Perez behind the plate. And it's Gregorio Petit batting ninth. And he is playing shortstop. They are taking on the 26 year old native of Houston, Texas, by the name of Nathan Evaldi. Yeah, Evaldi's got a power fastball. We'll also throw a slider, curveball, changeup, and a very good split finger fastball, six and two mark this season. My go to, though, to be successful against him is bunch those hits together. He will give up his fair share amount of hits. And also, big part of the field, don't try the pull, especially that split finger fastball or slider. It's fastball when you chase upstairs. Difficult hit, bring that fastball down and square it up to the middle of the field. Let's take a look at the uh, defense for the New York Yankees tonight. Gardner, Ellsbury, Beltran in the outfield. That's the same outfield that the Yankees had in game one. Ture is at third, Gregory is at shortstop, Castro and Parmalee on the right side of the infield. McCann behind the plate. And Gardner out in left field. It's a pretty solid job playing at left field position. There's two outfield assists, one error so far in left field this season. Career high back. In 2010, which was 12, very good as far as arm strength. When he charges the baseball, when he goes back on it, you can try to take the extra base against him. A contrast of styles on the mound tonight. Nathan Evaldi against Jared Weaver. Yeah, just a little bit different. But the out pitch for Evaldi, split finger fastball. Weaver's his curveball. He now lets Cavar ready to lead things off. Hitting 306, 14 doubles, three home runs, 17 runs batted in. Went 0 for 4 last night. The Angels managing a total of five hits. This one, love by Evaldi. One pitch, one out to start game three. When you talk about power fastball, Evaldi's average fastball, fastball velocity 96.9 miles per hour, which is second best in the majors behind Noah Syndergaard. So he has that power fastball, throws it around. 50%. There's quite a few split finger fastballs, though, but his power fastball, if you can bring it down in the zone, becomes a tractable hill hitter baseball. One pitch, one out. Here's Cole Calhoun. Right fielder hitting an even 300 with seven home runs and 32 runs batted. It takes a fastball away at 97 miles per hour. Clint Fagan calling the balls and strikes tonight. Tom Halley in at first base. Phil Cuzzy at second. Dan Bellino over at third. Yankees playing three infielders on the right side with Cole at the plate. See that fastball right there when it's the upper part of the strike zone. Very difficult to catch up. But if you bring that down a little bit lower, you can square that up. It's a relatively straight fastball when it's lower part of the strike zone. That's driven out to the alley and right center field. Nobody's going to get this one. One hopper over the fence, and it's a double for Cole Calhoun to lead off. Or to come up here with one out of the first. Yeah, lower part of the strike zone, right down middle, middle. Cole Calhoun again continues to swing the bat exceptionally well here on this road trip. Picks up a double. A little break of ball. Backdoor slider that did. End up in the middle part of the plate and one hops at 385 sign in right center field. This top four in the lineup combined against Ivaldi, 400 batting average. Very important to score here in the first inning against them. It's a travel bat with a man in scoring position. Mike yesterday 0 for 3. Hitless in the series, 0 for 6, a couple of walks. 302 average, 12 home runs, and 41 runs batted in. Foul back. In by Hyundai key for this game for the Angels to be successful. A little flow ride. Turn around, turn around that fastball. If you get a good part of that back on the fastball, you get a chance to go some serious distance against Evaldi. He has given up eight home runs. 
last year. Pretty good swing there by Trout on that fastball at 98. Such a team player. Flo Rida in concert after the game on Tuesday after the uh, Twins game. That's how I roll, man. That's what I hear. No balls, two strikes. Calhoun standing at second base with a one out double. One ball, two strikes. It's turned into an absolutely beautiful night for baseball. Cool temperatures. Pretty good storm blew through uh, Manhattan about midday, a couple of hours. Matter of fact, it cleared out enough for uh, both teams to have batting practice on the field. I think anything hit in the air, no matter if it's the left field or right field, it's not going to be an easy play. If you look up, see the flags really moving upper part of the stadium here. Every play is going to be difficult. The baseball will carry, as usual, very well to right field to right center field. Two balls, two strikes. Pool holes on deck. Handles with the loss last night. Lost the first two games of the series. Now 14 and 15 out of the road. And we'll finish up the series tomorrow night with a 7:05 start Eastern time, and then fly back to Southern California. Still amazing how Trout somehow fights his way back to even up, or even eventually get ahead of the count, even being being behind 0 and 2 to start with here. That's lined into center field, a base hit. Cole is going to be waved in. Ellsbury's throw goes to second, and the Angels have a one nothing lead. And using that middle of the field so far, very effective. Another all-speed pitch down middle of the plate. Line drive right back up the middle for Trout. Using that big part of the field. Just a perfect short swing for Trout, and no hesitation at all for Ron Renicky to send Cole Cow, even though that ball was hit hard. At Ellsbury, they will challenge that throwing arm of Ellsbury out in center field. Trout picks up his 42nd run batted in. Here's Pujols DHing tonight. He was at first base last night. DH in game one. 240 average. Albert takes a strike. Went hitless last night going 0 for 4. Two for seven in the series. Cavaldi has not allowed a stolen base against him so far this year, and only 11 and 19 attempts in his career. Very quick to the plate, plus the fact that he's thrown 97, 98. And again, you can guess that counts in which he's going to throw a split finger fastball to be successful. That's driven out to the alley in right center field. Ellsbury giving chase, and he will track it down on the warning track for out number two. Trout back to first. Good swing, though, by Albert. Hit that ball very well the other way. Warning track around a 385 sign. Ellsbury's made a couple good plays in this series so far, going to right center on that one. Made a great play going to left center in game one. Two outs with Trout at first. Here's Jeffrey Marte. Six for 18 with the Angels this season. Three doubles, a home run, three runs batted in. C.J. Crone getting the night off. Jeffrey played 23 games at first base last year for Detroit. See that quick pickoff move. Evaldi has 11 pickoffs in his career. Very good footwork. Rivaldo making his fifth career start against the Angels. Two and one, a 3.60 ERA. Delivers a strike on Jeffrey. Seen him pinch hit the first couple of games. Late. He's seen some gas, too, coming out uh, as a pinch hitter late. Had to face uh, Chapman two nights ago. Last night it was Andrew Miller in the ninth. Both of those guys from the left side of Aldi from the right side. And he's dealing with 97 plus. A little bit different though when you're 
starting in a game as compared to coming off the bench where you've been sitting around for a while trying to deal with that type of velocity on a fastball. So far this year in 1 1 counts when baseballs are put in play against Evaldi hitters in 526. 10 for 19. So what it comes down to he's caught in between throwing his fastball or even his slider in this count. One ball two strikes. And he'll take a one nothing lead on the single by Trout after Calhoun doubled to right center field. It was in a nice stretch going and scoring in the first inning. Four straight games. And this is shot to right a base hit. Stopping at second is Trout. Beltron plays a shallow right field. Gets the baseball back in quickly. That's a third hit allowed by Evaldi here in the first. And allowed out by Pujols also. So four really good swings. Even Escobar hit his ball pretty hard back up the middle. And Evaldi made the play on. So good sign early on before he settles in. And Giovatello with pretty good numbers against Evaldi coming up to the plates two for five in his career. Johnny at 263 average. His 18 RBIs on the year. 0 for 3 last night, 0 for 7 in the series. Johnny O for his last 11. Baldy's coming off a no decision in his last start. That was against Tampa Bay. Gave up a run on six hits and six innings of work. And now McCann and the right hander are going to get together. There yeah, seems to be some indecision between the two of them in this game at this point. A quick visit. Pitching coach now. Had no decision at Baltimore, snapping a string of five consecutive wins for Evaldi. A guy that's got a lot of uh, life and velocity on his fastball doesn't seem to rack up the strikeouts and one would equate to someone with his stuff. He's always given up a lot of hits, also. Again, for somebody with that type of velocity on the fastball, a slider sharp, a split finger fastball is very good. Season high is eight strikeouts. That was in his second start of the season. Two on, two outs. Breaking ball, first pitch in there, first strike. Not a bad idea. Get the Angel hitters off the fastball. Because everything has been, up until that pitch, everything's been firm. Trout the base runner at second, and Marte at first base. Again, Evaldi stepping off the rubber here. Ground ball foul. No balls, two strikes. Halo's trying to extend their 1 nothing lead here in the first. Cavalli originally in the Dodgers system, 11th round pick by the Dodgers in 2008. At Alvin High School in Alvin, Texas. They traded the Marlins in the Hanley Ramirez deal and they got traded to the Yankees, part of the Phelps Prado deal. Here's the 1 2. 
And Givatella goes down swinging. And the top of the first is in the books. The Angels, however, strike for a run on three hits. We head to the bottom of the first inning. Halo's up one nothing. Bottom of the first inning, we'll check out Joe Girardi's starting lineup for the uh, pit strappers of New York. Ellsbury leading things off at center. Gardner and left, Beltran back and right. Alex Rodriguez, a cleanup hitter at DH. McCann behind the play, starting Castro at second base. Didi Gregorius, the shortstop. Chris Parmalee gets to start at first base tonight, and Ronald Torrey is batting ninth and playing third base. Taking on Jared Weaver, making his 12th start of the season. 5 at 4 with a 5.18 ERA. Yeah, with 40 strikeouts and 64 and a third, my go-to is for Weave to be successful against this Yankee lineup. Just forget about these dimensions here in this ballpark and soft away. That means change up curveball down and away to get some easy rollover ground ball outs. 16th start of his career, and this one's down the line. It's a fair ball toward the corner. Ellsbury jumping on that first pitch. He'll get the second. It's a leadoff double. Check out the Angels defense. Handles will have Ortega left round at center Calhoun and right Escobar Petit on the left side Giovatella Marte on the right side with Perez behind the plate. Marte getting his first start at first base this season three at third base so far this year had played first base and third base quite a bit in spring training so comfortable in that position you know when you know he has a strong throwing arm ever to get that possibility of a 3 6 3 double play. Man in scoring position for Brett Gardner, the left fielder. See if he ends up sacrificing here. He does not. Takes a breaking ball low. Gardner, 240 average, has seven doubles, five home runs, just 12 runs batted in. Yankees last night, two for five with men in scoring position. Three for seven in the series. Breaking ball. Evens up the count of one ball, one strike. That's a that great seen spot. That breaking ball become more prevalent for Jared Weaver here of late. Remember, it used to be he would take a couple innings, throw his fastball, right. change up more, then eventually get into that curveball. We've seen quite a bit of curveballs thrown from Weaver in the very first inning. It's been a rather effective pitch for him. This one's off the plate. It's two balls and a strike. And reason why, because that fastball there at 83. Because the pitch before that curveball with 67, that makes that fastball look better for Weaver. Weaver coming off a W at Pittsburgh. Giving up two runs on six hits and six innings of work against the Pirates. Two one pitch. Gardner shoots one out to left center field. That's a base hit. 
Ortega tries to cut it off, does so, fires it back into second base, and the throw just a little bit offline, and the Yankees have tied the score one on back-to-back -back doubles. With that swing right there from Gardner, he went out and got that back-to-back -back fastballs elevated first two batters. That's our AT&T high-speed replay. Fastball, both. Ellsbury and now Gardner up and away went with the pitch and showing that speed to get into scoring position himself picking up his eighth double of the season. Beltron takes an off speed pitch for a strike. Weaver's had pretty good success against Ellsbury and Gardner in his career. These next two batters it's been tough for Weave between Beltron and Alex Rodriguez as far as the power swing against them. This one's lifted out toward the shortstop Petit. Backs up a little bit, puts it away for the first down. That's what you want to see from Weaver. The pop-ups in the infield. That means they're out in front off the end of the bat. They're not squaring up the baseball. They're off balance. Getting those pop-ups in the infield. One out, one on. Alex Rodriguez at the plate. Carlos, a quick conversation. The DH hitting 214 with seven home runs and 18 runs batted in. Weaver, by the way, making his 16th start in his career against the Yankees. Seven and five, a 5.83 ERA, and he's had uh, some troubles in his career at Yankee Stadium. First pitch in their first strike, and this is a, a ballpark, this and the old one, that could wreck havoc on starting pitchers. Yeah, we, we touched base in, in our opening about this ballpark, especially for pitchers like Weaver, fly ball pitchers. Anything hit in the air with the carry you have here. Ground ball pitchers, obviously the thick infield grass works out well for you, but if you're going to be a pitcher that gets fly balls in this yard, a, a mistake can go a long way. No balls, two strikes. You saw that uh, 8.71 ERA for Jared. His highest road mark at any American League ballpark. There's always a ballpark on the road where a pitcher just struggles. I know mine at Old Tiger Stadium, I, I, I literally couldn't get it out, it seemed to be, in that ballpark for whatever reason. Yet, when I pitch against him at home, completely different story. Same thing with Weaver when you look at his numbers. Six and two at home against the Yankees. But one and three here. High ERA here, much better at home. Gardner over at second base. One, two, and Alex fouls it back. The old psychological part of pitching. Because I'm sure you went into Tiger Stadium, felt good in the bullpen, yeah. you felt good on the mound. It wasn't like one of those ballparks that made you feel awkward and you didn't like pitching there. It just that, bad numbers. That infield grass was st so thick, and I was a sinker ball, ground ball pitcher. You would think it was made in heaven for me. Right. But for some reason, I became a fly ball pitcher in that <laughs> yard. No re rhyme or reason. One two pitch. And this is lined to center of base, and he jumped on the high fastball. Gardner's going to be waved in. Here comes a throw from Trout, and it is not in time as Gardner scores, and the Yankees have taken the 2 1 lead. That's Rodriguez picks up his 19th RBI. Three base hits, all on elevated fastball. This was even higher, but it's out over the plate. You can go fastball in, up and in against Alex Rodriguez, but out over the plate, that's the pitch. He squares up well now, especially at this point of his career. We showed it last night how he, his stride is shorter. Brings his leg up, but it's a short stride. It's very difficult for him to catch up the pitches inside, but out over the plate, can get those arms extended. McCann looks at a breaking ball for a strike. The catcher hitting 222 with eight home runs and 22 runs batted in. Had the night off last night as Austin Romine got the start last night. McCann had the big uh, home run that got things started for the Yankees in the seventh inning Monday night. Solo shot off Matt Shoemaker. That one's in tight. One ball, one strike. 2 1 Yankees were in the first.
Very short lead for A Rod at first base. McCann takes a strike. And it's one and two. Down goes McCann, two down. Sixty-five mile an hour curveball off the outside part of the plate is swing and miss. See the snap of the curveball. You can't try to stay back and shoot that ball to left field. Pretty good break to that one right there. Went around the outside part of the plate. Would have been a ball, but close enough to get the hitter to chase it and get a swing and miss. Starlin Castro skies one out towards center. Trout is there. Third out recorded with the Yankee strike for two runs as we head to the second. Angels down two to one. Allowed to get top of the first inning. One ball, no strikes. We're taking hitting 241. Four doubles, a home run, and nine runs batted in. One for three last night with a double and a run scored. Two and one. Valdi last year, a 14 game winner for the Yankees in his first season, made 27 starts. But McCann's got it, but it's in foul territory. Two balls, two strikes. Not a bad idea for Ortega, even though it's a good hitter's count. His game is predicated around using his speed and his punch that bunt right down the third base line. Probably would have been successful if he's able to get that one down that line. Not anticipating a bunt. Full count.
This is shot down the left field line, headed toward the corner. Gardner cuts it off, but Ortega will get the second base. Ball kind of popped out of the glove of Brett Gardner. Rafael picks up his fifth double of the season. Good piece of hitting by Ortega. High fastball again. Both pitchers have been hurting when they elevated that fastball out over the plate and able to get the barrel of the bat on it. Especially when you're just trying to put it in play. Good swing for Ortega. Looking to hit the ball the other way. Successful right down the left field line for a double and scoring position right away as the Angels try to tie this one up. There's Carlos Perez, the catcher. Carlos had an 0 for 3 game last night. Takes a strike. It's amazing how shallow Beltron plays in right field. We've been talking about the last couple of games, which is the right decision to play that shallow in right field. Take away that little flare, especially when you have a pitcher that pitches away often. And Beltron in position to be able to catch a routine fly ball. 314 down the right field line, 318 down the left field line. As Carlos bounces this one to the left side. That's Torres. Unable to advance or take him. There's the first out of the second. Power alley in left center, 399. It's 408 feet to straightaway center field. And 385 to the power alley in right center. And Carlos is trying to hit the ball to the right side of the infield, but Vivaldi went off speed, sped up the bat. Carlos Perez ended up rolling that over to third base. Ortega unable to advance. Castro trying to keep. Ortega close of all even mentioned him earlier had a very quick move he has both first and the second base Petit hammers one a deep left field Gardner can watch this one fly a big fly for Gregorio Petit first of the season and the Angels are back on top three to two George already looking on that hanging breaking ball to Petit picks up his first home run in the Angel uniform giving the Angels the lead again a two run home run for Petit jumping on a pitch early on certainly worthy of a Carl's cam replay power swing hanging breaking ball curveball and out of the ballpark well out of the ballpark for Petit it's a high fives in that dugout couple extra base hits a double by Ortega home run by Petit third career home run first since 2014 when he was a member of the Houston Astros Escobar for the one ball one strike count you now bounce one back to the mound in the first Two balls, one strike. Five hits for the Angels, and three for the Yankees. We're at the top of the second. Three extra base hits already in this game for the Angels against Evaldi. That's back up the middle under the glove of Evaldi, but Starling Castro is there. Two down. Even some of the outs, the loud outs against him. So using that middle of the field, Dave Hansen tell me their game plan against Evaldi today, just bring them middle of the plate. Whether it's the break a ball, and that pitch was right down the middle of the plate once again. Same thing with the home run, the curveball, the petite hit out. Because if you start chasing that split finger fastball or slider or fastball above the strike zone, it's going to be difficult to make contact. Calhoun one for one. Doubled in the uh, first inning. Out to right center field.
Torrey is a third baseman, a lone man on the left side of the infield. The ball would strike. Pretty good split finger fastball throws about 14% of his pitches are split finger fastballs. Two balls of strike. Cole came into play tonight. Hitting 370 out on the road this year. 28 games. Such as 229 at home. Five of his seven home runs been on the road. 2 1. Down it in. Three balls at a strike. Hitters against Evaldi this year on a 3 1 count with baseballs put in play. Hitting 600, 3 for 5. Trout on deck with two outs here in the second. He went around. Full count. Three two angels in the second Gregorio Petit with his first home run as an angel two run shot. Three two and he walked him first free pass issued by Avaldi. We'll put a man on for Trout. One thing Third, ninth pitch doesn't do a whole lot either. There's 16 walks. The team in general, the Yankees, in this game, 137 walks as a team, and that's closest as far as fewest amount of walks. Tampa Bay Rays at 162, so they don't walk a lot of batters. The ball they walked, like you said, 16 in 66 innings coming into tonight. We saw the numbers last night for. Uh, Pineda had walked 15 in 59 innings. He issued two. Chowton looks at a strike. Mike had an RBI single to center field in the first inning. No balls, two strikes. Chad now five for 11 in his career against Devaldi. That includes that first inning single. Check in at Calhoun. Missed upstairs. One ball, two strikes. Mentioned uh, Baldy. Well, the high school in Alvin, high school in Alvin, Texas, suburb of Houston. Only one other major league pitcher out of that high school. The Hall of Famer, Nolan Ryan. Bouncer toward third. That's Torres. He'll go the short way. They force out Calhoun, and the second is in the box. But the Angels retake the lead. Double by Ortega, and a one out, two run blast. By Gregorio Petit. Gregorio Petit with a bone of Petit. A Petit filet, two run home run out of the ballpark.
Pot. Gregorio Petit. Two road blast. Angels up 3 2. The bottom of the second. Gregorius, Parmalee, and Torres for the pinstripers here in the second. Diddy Gregorius, the shortstop, hitting 263. Seven doubles, four home runs, and 19 runs batted in. Is in the hole here at 0 2. Good change up there from Weaver. Kind of changing his patterns we mentioned. He used to go fastball change up early, then working his curveball. Now looks like he's worked his curveball early on, then starts mixing in his change up. This one hits sharply right to Marte. He'll take it himself, round number one. That ball was scalded. And the eight game flex plan offers a variety of game options from some of the best seats in the house, whether it's a marquee matchup or an exciting giveaway item. The flex plan allows fans to get close to the action. Call 888-796-HALO to get your tickets today. One out. Here's the pride of Chino Hills High School, Chris Parmalee. Swinging first pitch, rolls it foul. He's played in four games, but no at bats. Signed this off, you, off season, I should say, with the Yankees. He's hitting 252 with seven home runs and 21 RBIs at AAA. We'll look at a breaking ball for a strike after spending last year. The Baltimore Orioles. Former first round pick, the 20th overall selection by the Twins in 06. And the Five. guy that nearly broke up Jared Weaver's no hitter as a yeah. member of the Twins. Remember how close that was in that left field line by the chalk line? Just a foul ball. Breaking pitch, got him. Down goes Parmley. Two outs. Second strikeout for Weaver. Now five for 13 in his career versus Weaver with this very good curveball at 66 miles an hour. Tried to stay back, tried to hit it left, but could not make contact. Very similar swing by McCann on the slow curveball against Weaver off the outside corner. And you would think that that's what playing here every day as a left-handed batter will do to you with that porch in right field, try to yank everything down the right field line. It's like a right-handed batter in Fenway Park. Check swing roller to Torres. Petit has it, and a quick one, two, three shutdown inning for Weaver. We head to the third with the Angels leading at three to two. Now it's time for the driver's seat brought to you by Kia with Albert Pujols coming to the plate with Alex Rodriguez in this game. Also, talk about 1,266 career home runs by opposing players in one game. Fifth most all time. Thank Aaron and Willie Mays at the top of that list with 1,355 home runs. 
A lot of necks. Sore. <laughs> Albert will take a fastball for a strike. I didn't usually give the benefit of the doubt. I just reached for the baseball and knew it was gone. Yeah. No courtesy look? No, never. Never. Albert fouls it off. No balls, two strikes. He drove it out to the alley in right center field, but it was tracked down by Ellsbury in the first inning. Oh, two pitch. Albert goes down swinging. Second strike out of the night for Rivaldi. One down. Jeffrey Marte had a single in the first inning, so he's one for one. Tops this with foul. One or two. Jeffrey's done a nice job for the Angels when he's been in the uh, the ball game. It's limited amount of times. Gives this one foul up the first base side. Still at one and two. Angels, uh, depending on what Angels and Simmons is ready to go, have to make uh, a decision on an infield. He figured Marte is the, uh, the easy option, especially with the way Petit has played. I think Gregorio play uh, second base for sure late in games. He also played some third base. And that is hammered down the left field line. This one is gone. Big fly for Jeffrey Marte. And the Angels extend their lead to 4-2. That's exactly where Castro hit his ball in game one of the series. That's a long, long way for Marte. Second hit of the game. First home run wearing an Angel uniform also. This is a fastball up and in. How he's able to bring his hands inside and got the barrel of the bat. That's amazing how quick he brought his hands in. Cleared the hips and got the barrel out and drives that one way out. Second deck in left field. Second home run of all these allowed today. Give it tell him. Fouls this one back. Can I make that the second home run. Third time this season that of all these allowed two home runs in the game. That's a season on. First home runs he's given up since May 12th. One ball, one strike on Giovatello. Strike out victim down the first. 108 miles per hour off the bat, so they say. According to StatCast, 415 feet for that Marte blast. Broken bat, one hopper to short. Parmalee digs it out. That's a nice play by the first baseman, two outs. Yeah, that's not an easy hop to be able to scoop like that. Backhand, slight slip there in that outfield grass by Gregorius. We had some rain here, pretty heavy rain. And when they brought the tarp off, that's exactly where the water was drained, right in that area. See that slight little slip by Gregorius as he tried to plant that back foot to throw across the diamond. Two outs, nobody on, and here's Rafael Ortega. Opened up the second inning with a double down the left field line.
Anytime you go to that wet grass and all of a sudden you go back to the dirt. That mud in the cleats were gregorious. And they wet the infield dirt pretty good here. After batting practice. See the mud sticking to the spikes, especially after the, uh, the cleats being out of that wet grass. Chopper over the mound. Tough play for Castro, especially after Evaldi just whiffed on it. Now it goes an infield base hit for Rafael. His second hit of the game. The only play you're going to have on is at the pitcher, but he looked back where Castro was initially, and once you take your eye off the baseball, very difficult to make a play on it. Evaldi's a very good fielding pitcher also. Good athlete. He looked up at that baseball, tried to find his second baseman at that point, lost sight of the ball. Seven hits now for the Angels for two and two thirds. And here's Carlos Perez who grounded out his first time up. Jammed. Well, you'll notice a lot of early swings against Ivaldi. Some pretty good numbers for hitters when they put the ball in play on that first pitch. They see 391 coming into the game. Two home runs at five RBI. Nine for 23 for hitters against Ivaldi on that first pitch. Count even up at a ball and a strike. Handles with a run in this first inning. Two in the second on the Petit home run. One here so far in the third on the Marte home run. Good lead for Ortega at first base. In the dirt, nice dig by McCann. Sixtieth pitch thrown by Evaldi so far. 39 strikes, two punch outs, one walk, and the seven hits allowed. And your goal is to get to the early part of that bullpen, not the late part of the bullpen or the Yankees. Carlos shoots one down the right field line, and it goes foul. Remember the old Yankee Stadium, anything hit down the line, you just assume was always going to be fair. Unless it was in the stands, it seemed to be fair. Not a lot of foul territory. Not a lot here either, either. But certainly down the lines at the old Yankee Stadium. To two. Carlos goes down swinging. The third is in the books, but Jeffrey Marte with a second home run in this season extends the Angels lead to 4 2. When you talk about turning on a fastball in, it's exactly what Marte did. They hit that one in his second deck.
Halos up 4 2, bottom of the third inning. Top of the order coming up for New York. Ellsbury, Gardner, and Beltran to face Jared Weaver. Has two strikeouts, three hits allowed. One of which was to uh, Ellsbury. Opening up the bottom of the first, a double down the left field line. He takes down and away. Double for Ellsbury in the first inning, his tenth of the season. And he skies went out toward right field. Cole drifting back at the wall. And this one's gone. Ellsbury with his third home run of the season, and it draws the Yankees with it one. Second career home run for Ellsbury against Weave. Now two for two in this game, a double and a home run. Now nine for 29 versus Weaver. Curveball drifted, middle part of the plate, and works its way to that second deck here in right field. There's Gardner at an RBI double in the first. Double for Gardner in that first inning is eighth. The RBI is 13th. Off speed, and that is Lydon. Diving play by Johnny Giavatello to rob Gardner of a single. Full extension on the dive by Giavatello. That defense has improved. You see exactly where he is on the screen, how far he's got to go to extend on that dive to make the play. Dives just before it hits the outfield dirt. I mean, the infield dirt there for Giovatella. Timed it perfectly. Yes. So if they say you got to have good timing. Yes. Big stage. ML MLB network guy today. Star making the play. This one's hit toward first, and Marte cannot handle it. Tried to go to the backhand. So laid into a single. So man on with one out, and Alex Rodriguez coming up. Kind of like a heavyweight fight early on in this game. In the old Yankee Stadium, they used to stage some fights here. Alex Rodriguez, as far as the all time RBI leaders, Hank Aaron at the top, Babe Ruth, and then Alex Rodriguez at third. Had an RBI single in the first inning, 19th run batted in this year. One one pitch. This is hit sharply to left. Going with an off speed pitch. Second hit of the night for Rodriguez. Two on now with one out. 13 for 31 in his career versus Weaver for Alex Rodriguez with five home runs. McCann a strikeout victim in the first. Fouls this one back. Can a candidate to uh, ground into a double play. He's grounded into six this year.
conversation with Carlos and Jared. McCann has rolled into six double plays, and Weaver has gotten eight ground ball double plays turned behind him this season. No balls, two strikes. Beltron at second, Rodriguez at first. And McCann lifts one out to right field. It'll stay in this ballpark. Cole makes the catch. Tagging and trying to go to third is Beltron. A good throw, but Carlos is in there safely. So two outs now with runners at the corners. Base running by Beltron to be able to tag up and go, even with that strong throwing arm. A long throw from right field for Cole Calhoun, an accurate throw, but Beltron still with good enough wheels to get the third base on that throw. See how accurate that throw was. Good base running, though. Charlie Castro jumped on the first pitch in the first inning and lifted a fly ball out of Mike Trout. Four three Angels. We're in the bottom of the third. Off speed first strike. Castro bounces it foul. That's an 0-2 count. It's the part of the order that uh, went through fairly quickly and economically the first time through. Castro, Gregorius, Parmelee, and Torres. Trying to keep the one-run lead. 0-2 pitch. Well, that's a pretty good pitch. Yeah, good spot for a changeup. Like Weaver wanted that call. Look at our Fox tracks exactly where that pitch was located, lower part of the strike zone. Great location that pitch. So good. It fooled Clint Fagan. One, two. This has popped up. Marte into foul territory. Hitting is over. Kobe Elder with the home run draws the Yankees one the one as we head to the fourth. Halos up for three.
19 87 stay in baseball the Angels Don Sutton was 312 career wins faced the inning is Phil Necro at 314 at Angel Stadium Cleveland won that one though two to nothing that's a lot of W's there Remember when Phil Nico got his 300th win, he threw all fastballs in that game to get number 300. Hey, whatever works. <laughs> Especially when you throw like 90 some percent knuckleballs normally. Trick them. Ball on a strike on Petit, who homered in the second inning, a two run shot. Breaks his bat, rolls one over to first. Parmley's. Gonna take it himself. One out. Looks like a backup split finger fastball. Ran well off the inside corner. It certainly created a an odd swing by Petit. Escobar twice is grounded out, so he's 0 for 2. Shoots this one out to center field. Alsbury's there. Two pitches, two outs here in the fourth. As far as the last two pitches, anyway. Cole always aggressive himself. When you think about in this lineup for the Angels, as far as not seeing a lot of pitches in their at bat between Giovatella and Escobar, around 3.2 pitches per plate appearance, and Cole Calhoun very aggressive himself early in the count. Call a double and a walk. Takes a strike. Neither starting pitcher has really been able to settle in. Weaver did have a one, two, three second. No balls, two strikes. So far in his back, Calhoun has seen a curveball and split finger fastball. Volley, just 26 years of age. High school draft pick. Seems like he's been around forever. Had uh, command issues early on in his career. Two balls, two strikes. You know, an arm like this, you're always intrigued that you could be the guy to turn him around and make him a consistent winner. Two two Cole hits one over to second that's Starlin Castro Halos go down in order we head to the bottom of the fourth inning with the Angels up by the score of four to three.
of the fourth inning. It's the bottom third of the order for New York. Gregorius, Parmalee, and Torres to face Jared Weaver. Two strikeouts, no walks, six hits allowed. As Didi Gregorius takes a strike, he grounded out to Marte to open up the second. So he's 0 for 1. No balls, two strikes. This one's over towards shallow left. Petit going out. Easy play for him, and there's the first out of the fourth. And the Angels taking on the Indians on Friday at 7.05. And fans in attendance will receive a one-of-a-kind cooler bag courtesy of your cult probiotic drink while supplies last. Visit angels.com slash promotions to get your tickets. Is that Friday night? Friday night. Nice. A lot of Angel fans here during batting practice, especially. All lined up down that third baseline. As Parmalee takes a strike. He punched down in the second. Parmley hooks one down the right field line, but it goes foul. Weaver's thrown 47 pitches in this game at this point. 38 of them have been strikes. Missed it. 2 2 count. Torre is on deck. Got him out last time on a slow curveball off the outside corner. That fastball in usually would set something all speed away, but no, he's going back in. Full count. Payoff, and he fouls back the breaking ball. Six hits for the Yankees, seven for the Angels. Three combined home runs, Petit and Marte for the Halos. Ellsbury out to right field in the third. Parmley punches one with the shift on. It's a fair ball, and he's on his way to second with a one-out double. First hit as a Yankee. Six for 14 in his career versus Weaver. That's a fastball. 84 mile an hour fastball just went with the pitch. It's a right down the left field line for a double. A very Command difficult score position, and uh, here's Torres. Pretty difficult to get him to try to pull a fastball away like that. Mm -hmm. So you're going, you're going against the shift. If you throw a curveball, maybe that outside part of the plate. But if you're comfortable in the mound throwing that pitch, it's difficult. To not be, have that mindset to go after with that fastball away, even with the shift on. Torres swinging first pitch, lofts one out to right. Two down, Torres seen two pitches and made two outs. He grounded out his first time up. And you see a quick conversation now with Carlos Perez with Ellsbury coming to the plate. Determine what they want to try to do against him. A double and a home run in this game already. Double the left, home run the right. Ellsbury with a double and a home run. Two runs scored. 
on a pickoff attempt on Parmley. One ball, no strikes. Jared trying to work around a one out double. Keep this a one run uh, lead, I should say, for the Angels. In the fifth, the Angels have Trout, Pujols, and Marte coming up. 2 0. I wouldn't give in if I'm weaving, even though Gardner has a double himself in a line out. Ellsbury looks very comfortable at the plate tonight against Weaver. You have an open base. And in this ballpark, you don't like to give runners, but I, I wouldn't give in. He rips that one up to right field. Cole comes in, makes the catch on the sinking liner. And the third out is in the books. Four complete. Halos maintaining a 4 3 lead. Might be catching the center. That might have been catcher's interference off the glove, potentially. Wow. Looks like he hit his glove. That's what I thought I heard some sound. You can see right there, hit yep. his glove. So instead of a third out, Ellsbury reaches on an error. See right there, the glove. Yeah, off the bat, it sounded odd, and I was thinking, looked like he squared that up pretty good, but then you hear the sound of the bat, the glove, and the baseball at the same time. Catcher's interference, E2. Carlos gets charged with his second error. So first and second now. And still two outs. Here's Gardner. RBI double on the first. Lined out softly to Giavatel on the third. Ground ball through the shift. Coming around is Parmalee. Here's Ortega's throw to the plate. It's a good one, and Parmalee is safe. So that catcher's interference comes back to haunt us. We are tied up at four. Pretty accurate throw, too, by Ortega, but a tough short hop. Trying to catch the baseball and still apply a tag. His partner looked like he had his foot in there. You know, to score the tying run. Mike Soch is looking at it though, just to make sure. Just a matter was the foot in the air enough because it looked like the foot and body was there at the plate before the tag was applied. You know, we will check in with Steve Solis in there in. The clubhouse. No argument from Sosham. 4 4 game here in the fourth. And now Carlos Beltran at the plate. Ellsbury at second and Gardner at first base. One ball, no strikes. Carlos one for two. Popped up to short in his first at bat. A single in the third inning. One ball with strike. All right, there seems, especially on this road trip, always one little thing that ends up costing the Angels a run. Or two. Two balls and one strike last night. It was Escobar forgetting that there was only one out, regardless of what anybody else says. Clearly appeared to forget there was one out. Cost the Angels a run. And then Petit dropping a, a throw at second base. 
And this one's pulled down the line. It sounded like Beltran may have broken his bat there. It goes foul. And the bottom line is, Victor, when you have a staff consistent with your starters and your bullpen or pitch to contact guys, when you give an extra base yeah. runner, even if you make a good pitch, again, they're going to make contact. And if you find a hole, a run scores. Small margin of error. Yes. And you, you've got to play perfect defense when you do have so many guys yeah. that are pitch to contact guys. And when you pitch to the contact and get off the end of the bat or keep the ball on the ground or pop ups in the infield, you can get some quick, easy outs. But when there's extra runners on it, that ground ball that looks like it has a chance to be at somebody rolls to a hole, it's, it ends up being a run. 2 2 pulled foul. Breaking pitch, foul back. He was on that, was upstairs and out over the plate. Coming in this inning, Weaver had thrown just 41 pitches. 21 of them. Here in that fourth inning. Beltran with 15 home runs. He didn't get to 15 home runs last year until September 9th. Good speed on the bases for New York. Another 2 2. That's low. Full count. And with two outs, that speed will be on the move. Yeah, Beltron this season, one of the lowest at bats per home run ratio 13.73, which is 10th best in baseball. Runners go. 3 2, and he walked up. So they're loaded up now. With Alex Rodriguez coming up, and Rodriguez already 2 for 2. First walk issued by Weaver. Just the 17th walk of the season for Weaver. And now about 68 innings pitched. Talking about a big moment in the game. This is that moment for Weaver and the Angels against the guy who's had a lot of success against him. He needs to find a way to get the last out of this inning with no damage. Hey, Rob with a couple of singles. And he hits this one out to a left center field. Towering shot Ortega calling off Trout. And that's the third out of the inning. The Yankees tie it up. And they also leave him loaded. We head to the fifth. It's a 4 4 tie.
Baseball on Fox Sports West is brought to you by Subaru, making the world a better place. That's why they created Subaru Loves to Care, Subaru's commitment to a healthier community. And by El Pollo Loco, try the new fire grilled chicken burritos today. 4-4 tied, top of the fifth inning. Here's our in-game box score for the Angels. Seven total hits. Petit with a home run. Marte with a couple of hits, including a home run. As Mike Trout leads things off here against Nathan Avaldi, and he'll look at a slow breaking pitch for a strike. Trout, Pujols, and Marte in the fifth inning for the Angels. Avaldi coming off a 1-2-3. Fourth is first inning. He's retired the side. This one drilled out to straightaway center field. Ellsbury's not going to get there, and this one's off the wall. Trout racing to second. It's a leadoff double. Mike with his second hit of the ball game. That was a screaming line drive off the wall at dead center field here at Yankee Stadium. Wow, was this baseball hit. Split finger fastball that drifted down middle. And what a swing he put on it. Didn't get quite the height right at that 408 sign in center field for Trout. 12th double, second hit of the game. Albert Hitless, fly ball to deep right center and a strikeout. The ball off the bat of Trout, 115 miles per hour. I was asking Trouty yesterday if he likes hitting his ballpark. The numbers are there for him anyhow, but he says he sees the baseball very, very well here. On the offensive side, defensive side at times does not see the ball with the cement around here. When certain line drives hit his way. One ball, one strike. Two balls, one strike. Five extra base hits by the Angels against Ivaldi today. Big lead for Trout at second. Two on. Albert hammers one down the left field line. This one is fair. Down on the corner, Albert will turn, try to go to second base, and he will be in there with an RBI double, and the Angels are back on top 5-4. Speaking of extra base hits, another extra base hit against Evaldi. That ball was rocketed down the left field line. It looked like a changeup. Turns on it. And off the wall there, rated right the 318 sign, a double off the wall, 408 in center, double off the wall, a 318 sign in left. 589th double of Albert Pujols' career. He's currently 18th all time. Todd Helton next up on that list with 592. Big at bat here for Marte. At the very least, get Albert over to third base, if not drive him in. Already two for two in this game with a single and a home run. Marte with a single and a home run. Evaldi's now thrown 78 pitches, 79 pitches in this ball game. Three strikeouts, one walk. Nine hits allowed now as the Yankees get action in their bullpen out of right center. Victor, the thing is, both pitchers tonight have thrown first pitch strikes a lot. Again, we talked about in that, that in the past. It's the quality of that first pitch and location of it. It's on the corner, two and one. Face 23 batters, 18 first pitch strikes for Evaldi.
Arte bounces this one to third. Torres has it. Albert's going to try to go to third. No, he stopped. Quickly gets back to the base. So Marte retired for the first out. And it's second time with a man on second with no outs. A ground ball has been recorded right through the third baseman, not allowing the runner to move over. That's up to Giovatella. Get a base hit here. Johnny 0 for 2 with a strikeout with a ground ball to short. Johnny trying to snap it 0 for 13. Add to the Angels' lead here in the fifth. By the way, it's Anthony Swarzak getting ready in the bullpen for the Yankees. Mislocation on that 0 2 fastball drifted out over the plate. Gia Patella had a good swing against Ivaldi. A lot of good swings tonight against Nathan Ivaldi and his stuff. And you, you would think when you're throwing that hard, it's amazing how comfortable the swings have been against him. Nine hits, five runs already, including that rocket by Trout and Albert. A nice dig by McCann. Split finger fastball was able to get over there just enough to be able to keep that ball in the glove. It's not an easy play. He's anticipating that split finger fastball going straight down instead. It's almost in that left handed batter's box. One, two. Johnny lifts one out towards shallow center. Castro, the second baseman, calling for it. Two down. So it'll be up to Rafael Ortega. Try to score pool holes from second. So batting average runners on this season for Ortega, 280 as compared to. It's 210 with the bases empty. And he shot the right center field for a double, his first at bat, and an infield hit, his second at bat. Swartak ready to go now, the bullpen for New York. Just kind of looking on, throwing the occasional pitch. Taylor's with back to back doubles, but trying to pull holes to retake the lead here. 5 4 in the fifth. Ground ball, right side. That's Parmalee, the first baseman. Feed it on to Avaldi and Pujol stranded in scoring position, but the Angels retake the lead as we head to the bottom of the fifth.
eighth inning. McCann, Castro, Gregorius coming up against Jared Weaver. Two strikeouts, one walk. And eight hits allowed for Weave. McCann hit list tonight, 0 for 2. A strikeout and a fly ball to right. First one's down low. 66 pitches for Weaver, 49 strikes. Couple of pitches real close to the strike zone, just a little bit below, but McCann seems to be tracking that baseball well. This one's out toward right center field. Trout was shading McCann that way. One down. And this Saturday at 4 p.m. Pacific on Fox, Baseball Night in America has one of the best rivalries in baseball as the Giants take on the Dodgers. Then at 6.30 p.m. Pacific on FS1, the Indians battle the Angels in a game you can only see on FS1 or watch it live on Fox Sports Go. Well, the Dodgers trail the Giants by three games. Kurt Thompson with the second walk-off home run last night for the Dodgers. Weaver gets the leadoff man here in the fifth. This will bring up Starlin Castro who's 0 for 2. Castro with a fly ball to center. He popped out at foul territory to Marte to end the third. One ball, one strike. Starlin, the former shortstop, playing second base every day now. Picked up an offseason deal with the Cubs. It's a 2 1 count now. Castro still just 26 years of age. Native of the Dominican Republic. At 265 last year for the Cubbies. 11 home runs and 69 RBIs. 2 1 pitch. Cues this one toward short. Petit comes in. Two down. Ball oh, had a lot of spin on it. Well, Petit has played a solid shortstop. He's got a strong throwing arm. You mentioned it. It's not an easy play. So you have Castro running down with good speed down the line. Throws him out by a step. Gregorius comes up 0 for 2. Ground down to pop up. He comes to the play with Duran Duran notorious. Didi notorious. Yes. What out. That's in there. You no, know, Duran Duran's one of your all time favorites. Absolutely. No shame in that. No. Great in concert. Right my wheelhouse. Oh, 80s yeah. when I was growing up. Oh, yeah. Watching you play. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, shut down inning for Jared Thanks Weaver. We remember that. We head to the sixth inning. It's 5 4 Angels.
brought to you by Ram Trucks. In our opening, we talked about how the Yankees have been successful against the Angels in this ballpark. You see the swing from Carlos Beltran. He is full, the hips opened up. He barely gets a good part of the battle, and it goes out the right field. Same thing with Castro. He's pulled on the pitch and flicks it off that fair pole down the right field line. Baseball carries extremely well. They're using that to their advantage, and that's why the Angels have struggled here the last seven games in which the Yankees have won all seven. Perez, Petit, and Escobar here in the sixth inning. Nathan Avaldi still on the mound. 89 pitches now. Carlos, the dribbler, foul. Hey, nothing makes you feel better as a pitcher when you make a perfect pitch. You see the hitter fold on it, and then it's out in front and off the end of the bat. Next minute you look around, and he's uh, running around the bases. Spoken like a true pitcher. <laughs> out in front, off the end of the bat <laughs> for a home run. He may have broken his bat, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a, a home run derby baseball. Yes. I remember at the old Yankee Stadium, Oscar Gamble got one right down the line, one of those, you know, 309 foot shots, whatever it is down the line in the old Yankee Stadium. Still a little bit bitter about that one. Off the end of the bat there, too. Just yeah. hooked it. Well, maybe uh, make a better pitch next time. <laughs> <laughs> you ever think for a moment that's on you? <laughs> Hey, I always do when I gave up a home run. Like I said, I never even gave it a look. That one I even gave a look to. So, okay, that's an out. Out of the ballpark, that is. I'll give you 100 bucks if you tell me exactly what you said after that ball went out. Off air. Off air. <laughs> <laughs> Full count on Carlos to open up the sixth inning. But Oscar was a former Philly at one point, so I felt better about it. All time greatest dues. Oh, no question. Called strike three. Perez goes down looking for the strikeout for Rivaldi. Like my Hyundai key to this game. Oh, Flow right. Turn around and certainly. Petit turned around a fastball. His first at bat. Fastball up and in at 97. Turned around. Home run for Petit. One for two with that home run and a ground out. Tell that note there, first home run for Gregorio since getting Hector Santiago. As you remember the Astros. Head of the count of two balls, no strikes. Swarzak was up last inning. Looks like he's up once again this inning. It's upstairs. 3 0 count. Top of the order and Escobar coming up. Is lined out toward right center field. It's a base hit. Second hit of the game for Petit. And it's another fastball in the inner part of the plate. Not quite in as far as Givaldi wanted to. Turned on it though. With as far as his bringing his hand in and turning and hitting the right center field. That's going to do it for uh, Ivaldi. Matches the season high and hits allowed with 10. Did that back on May 1st against Boston. So. Ivaldi will depart here. First pitching change of the ball game comes in the sixth inning with the Angels up 5 4.
Fox Sports West is brought to you by Energy Upgrade California. It's easy to stay golden at energyupgradeca.org. And by your Southern California Toyota dealers. Top of the sixth inning with one out, one on. The Yankees go to their bullpens, or in and out, who's in, who's out. Nathan Evaldi is done. And it is Anthony Swarzak coming on in relief. This will be his first appearance as a Yankee. He was pitching at Triple A with them. And at uh, Scranton Wilkes Bar, one and four with a 3.86 ERA, 15 games. That included six starts. Yeah, fastball is 90 94, slider. We'll throw a curveball and changeup. 30 year old right hander, former second round pick of the Twins back in 04. We'll face Yunel Escobar with Petit standing at first base. Yunel is 0 for 3. Check swing roller foul. This is broken bat flare out the shallow center. Ellsbury will play it on the hop. So a single for Escobar. Petit moves to second, and the Angels have a couple of men on for Calhoun. You talked about the importance in this stadium to add on. Now you have that shot. This part of the order up now for the Angels. Cole Calhoun has hit the ball extremely well on this road trip. Double here tonight. Also a walk. Trout on deck. Cole 0 for 1 in his career against Swarzak. Last year pitched with the Indians, just 10 games. See those numbers with runners in scoring position. 381, which is eighth best in the majors. Good fastball from Swarzak. Swarzak's pitched well against the Angels in his career. This is his 12th game. He's had three starts against him, two and one, and a 1.50 ERA, 36 innings, 20 strikeouts, just 22 hits allowed. Remember, he had a start against the Angels and Weaver on a Saturday afternoon one day in Minnesota, where I think he had no hitter deep in that game. Seventh or eighth inning. Oh what? That's in there for a strike. Oh with two. The ball they looking on. He's responsible for Petit standing at second. Down and in. One and two. As far as like last year, pitching Korea before signing with Cleveland. Prior to that, all with the Minnesota Twins at the major league level. Handles with 11 hits, the Yankees with eight. 5 4 here in the top of the sixth inning. Good rip at a fastball. You try to elevate that got it over the middle part of the plate. A good swing at it from Cole. A lot of pitchers have tried to go and get Cole to swing in a high fastball out of the strike zone, but that time he was on it. Two balls, two strikes.
Trout on deck. Good lead for Petit at second base. Cole fouls it back. And fastball away. Good battle here by Cole, fighting off some tough pitches. That fastball was off the outside corner, just trying to stay alive in his bat. There's Trout, hitless in his career against Swarzak. A couple of missiles tonight. That's a long look in for Swarzak. A lot of times when you look in that long, it means you're putting down something potentially it's off speed. Foul tipped into the mitt. Calhoun strikes out for out number two. And he end up throwing him a slider there. Kind of got away with that one too. And there are a lot of fastballs in that sequence. Threw him a slider, but it's right down the heart of the plate. Not getting away with it, though. Quick conversation between McCann and Swarzak as Trout comes up. Two for three with an RBI single in the first. A double off the wall in center in the fifth. Also scored a run. Double for Mike, his 12th of the year. 0 for 5 in his career against Swarzak. Lower part of this strike zone. It's 0 1. You know, one thing about Trout, he doesn't swing at the first pitch often. Very rarely, if ever, do you see him swing first pitch breaking ball. One ball, one strike. Petit at second, Escobar at first. Back to back doubles by Trout and Pujols in the fifth inning. I think the Angels back in the lead, looking for more here in the sixth. Ground ball right side, that's Parmerly coming in. He'll feed Swarzak. A little off balance there, but they record the out, and the Angels leave two more on base. We head to the bottom of the sixth inning, 5 4 Angels. Of baseball. Kansas City, who's lost six in a row behind their good friends, the Baltimore Orioles, four to nothing here in the top of the seventh. Washington all over the Chicago White Sox. James Shields debut for, for the White Sox. 
in San Francisco, Boston. Later on tonight, we're looking at our game break. Chris Bryant against the Fighting Phils at Citizen Bank. Mammoth home run. Two run home run for Chris Bryant as Chicago continues to roll one. That one eight to one. It's pretty serious power. Chris Bryant. That entire Cubs lineup's pretty good. Here in the bottom of the sixth inning, eight nine and one. Parmalee fouls off the first pitch. Weaver's coming off a one two three fifth. And Parmalee, Torres, and Ellsbury. Chris Parmalee doubled and scored in the fourth inning. His run actually tied the score up at four at that point. Until the Angels he took the lead in the fifth. One ball, one strike. Off speed, hooked down the right field line, and this game is tied at five. Barmley with his first as a Yankee. And we're tied up at five here in the sixth inning. He just went down and got it. Change up down and away. Hooked it. Like you're going to see most left handed batters in this ballpark will try to do. Hooks it right into that corner for a home run. Second extra base hit. Seven for 15 against Weaver now. Torres takes ball one. One ball, one strike on the third base. When he's 0 for 2, a ground ball to third and a fly ball to right. He lifts this one out to left field. One down. Top of the order coming up now, Jacoby Ellsbury. Angels start to get action going in their bullpen now. Jose Alvarez, first man up. Ellsbury with a double, a home run, one RBI, and two runs scored. Reach out the uh, catcher's interference, Aaron Perez, so he didn't get charged for a plate appearance in that one. It's the sixth time this year he's been on base with the catcher's interference, 20th since 2007. He's the Hideki Matsui of 2016. Yes. Two balls, two strikes. Well, they didn't miss by much. Full count. Breaking pitch, yanked foul. Parmalee with a leadoff home run to start the sixth inning. Tie this one up at five. And Ellsbury works the walk. The second free pass issued by Weaver. And Weaver wanted that strike three call. Doesn't get it. Scott Barrett and Telecast presented by Authority. The Los Angeles Angels may not be reproduced, retransmitted in any form, and the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of Angels Baseball LP. Maybe the last batter that Weaver faces. Albert's ready to go with a left hand batting. Brett Gardner coming up. And sure enough, Sosha makes the move to the bullpen. So Weaver ends up going five and a third. He'll depart here. The 
five five game. We'll do so with a man standing at first base. We got ourselves a pitching change. We're tied up. Out. Hey folks, follow Angels Baseball live with MLB.com at Bad App. Stay up to the moment at any moment with game day, live game video highlights, stat cast news, and more. Download MLB.com at Bat. Number one app for live baseball on your phone or tablet. Jose Alvarez takes over for Jared Weaver. Winds up going five and a third, nine hits, two of which were home runs, two strikeouts, two walks. He departs with Ellsbury standing at first base. That's his responsibility. As Alvarez takes over here. This will be his 29th game. One and two record, a 450 ERA, 28 strikeouts, and 28 innings of work. Second appearance for him in this series. He ended up giving up home run to Beltron in the eighth inning of Monday night's game. Last just a third of an inning. Brett Gardner, two for three, a single, a double, two runs batted in. Escobar in on the grass at third. The first one's way outside. Two balls, no strikes. This one lined toward Jordan, just beyond the reach of Petit. Well struck by Gardner. Ellsbury, Ellsbury partner will stop at second. So two on with one out. Carlos Beltran coming to the plate. You know, that was played well by Trout to be able to get in position to make a throw to third base if Ellsbury would decide to try to go. Just over the head. Petit. Beltron one for two with a single, the walk, and a pop up. You gotta pay attention to Ellsbury. You gotta vary your look back to second. <laughs> oh, 
from the right side of the plate at 264 average for uh, Carlos this year. And he skies one down the left field line. A moonshot that hooks foul. You never know when it's hit that high the way the wind could push that ball back towards the foul pole. Time was called. And Beltran has rolled into six double plays, four from this side of the plate. One one pitch that's down low two balls at a strike good speed on the bases for New York with Ellsbury at second and Gardner at first. Two on pitch and that is ripped to left field a base hit Ellsbury is going to come in to score Gardner's on his way to third the throw comes toward third base and that allows Beltran to get to second you weren't going to get Gardner at third he did a good read off the bat there's no way you're throwing it out you got to get that in as quick as possible to second base especially with Alex Rodriguez on decks the potential for a ground ball double play but Beltran gets Alvarez for the second time of the series. Now Arco top tier play of the game and Beltron once again that time on a cut fastball turns on it in the left field for another big RBI for the Yankees. And that slide in there reading that throw to third base still a very good base runner. Alvarez faces two batters re retires none of them. Pitching change here in the sixth the Yankees now lead at six to five. A 6-5 lead. He faced Gardner Bedrosian, gave up a single and a double. And he departs for Cam Bedrosian. Takes over here with still one out. Runners at second and third now. Bedrosian pitching in his 23rd game, one and a record of 1.86 ERA. He's going to face Alex Rodriguez. Cam is pitching for the second straight night. Went one inning last night. Allowed one hit and had two strikeouts. He struggled with inherited runners. 
Now, right now, your goal because Kemp has that capability for a strikeout. He has to think in terms of a strikeout here. Carlos Beltran, by the way, now with 20 runs batted in over his last 19 games. Infield in. That run, by the way, gets charged to Weaver, so the book closed on him. Six runs at five and a third. First pitch strike. Rodriguez tonight, two for three, two singles, a fly ball to left, and an RBI. Gardner over at third, Beltron at second. Chopper toward third. Gardner started to go. It's Petit that fields it. Throws out Rodriguez. He reads that off the bat well, but that might have been a real interesting play because you're going to have to go to the backhand. That's a difficult throw. Certainly no contact play put on there by the Yankees. Secondary lead and on contact. It's a difficult throw, although Petit has yeah. to have a strong throwing arm. Uh, two hopper, too. Yeah. You're right. Backhand, and then that throw is going to sail in. You would think towards the runner at the plate because his body's going towards the third base bag. Charles Nagy out to pay a visit. We've got Brian McCann coming up to the plate, a left handed batter with first base open. Can't over three. Infield back to normal depth, playing the shift on Petit almost directly up the middle. Giavatella out in shallow right. The outfield swings to pull as well. Oh, what three. count? It's a shot to left, and that is a base hit. It'll bring in two. McCann will stop at first, and the Yankees extend their lead to 8-5. Those two runs charge Alvarez. See the mislocation of that breaking ball off the outside corner. McCann just went with that pitch. Line drive into left field, driving in two more. Alvarez faces two batters, allows two hits, and gets charged with two runs. Breaking ball is low. And the one thing that's been an issue of late is inherited runners scoring. So three inherited runners in this inning have scored. Imagine the struggles for Alvarez in those situations. Campadrosian as well. And we talked about how how often the bullpen was used for a long stretch of time, wondering if it's at some point they would be taxed. Getting close to that point again. A lot of appearance, a lot of up and downs. Ground ball to short. They'll go the short way. They force out McCann, but the damage is done. Yankees strike for four. We head to the seventh. It's eight five New York.
seventh inning. Second look at the hot upcoming schedule for the Angels. One more tomorrow night in this four game series. And it's a, a late start, too. 705 start. Jolie Chassin going up against Yvonne Nova. Then the Angels will fly home. Supposed to land around 2, 2 30 in the morning. And then take on the Cleveland Indians on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday before the Minnesota Twins roll into town for a three game set beginning on Monday. 8 5. Yankees lead it. Anthony Swarzak, who came in in the sixth inning, is now the pitcher of record. He'll face Pujols, Marte, and Giovatella for the Angels here in the seventh. Albert one for three, had an RBI double in the fifth inning. 23 hits combined, 12 by the Yankees. 11 by the Angels. The Angels had opportunities to extend their lead in both the fifth and sixth innings and failed to do so. One thing we've seen from this offense has been the Brazilian offense. They've been able to bounce right back. It's a huge opportunity to be able to get right back in the game, not allow Swarzak and the Yankees to put up a zero here, especially the way they've been swinging the bats tonight. And we kept hearing prior to this series how the Yankees' offense was struggling so much. Well, we've seen them drive the ball in this ballpark. That's for sure here in these three games at this point. Albert grounds this one to third. That's to Reyes. One down. Jeffrey Marte getting to start at first base tonight. Two for three with a single and a home run. He grounded out his last time up. Takes a strike. Baltimore still leading Kansas City 4-0. That game's in the eighth. Texas and Houston tied at one at the bottom of the fifth. Oakland trailing Milwaukee 2-0. That game's in the fourth at Milwaukee. And Cleveland will be at Seattle later on tonight. Here was a back and forth battle. Angels taking the uh, lead in the fifth inning. 5-4. Till the uh, bottom of the sixth. The Yankees striking for four runs. One ball, two strikes. And Swarzak able to limit the damage, no damage, I should say, last inning when you have that part of the lineup you want for the Eagles with Cole Calhoun and Mike Trout. Marte goes down swinging two outs. Givatello for three popped out his last time up. Chopper to third. Torres has it. Halos go down in order. Stretch time here in New York. Halos down eight to five.
Alley takes over the mound here. He'll be facing the bottom third of the order. Malley comes into a, a ball game for the 24th time this season. What a 4-5-8 ERA, 17 and two-third innings. Takes over for Camp Adrosian, lasted two-thirds of an inning. Gave up a hit. Malley pitching for the second straight night. He went two-thirds last night and was charged with a run on one hit and had one walk. First pitch a breaking ball. Didi Gregorius open three. The ground out of two pop ups. Right off the ankle. One ball, two strikes. This is where Malley's going to have to get that more consistent with his slider now. Now that he's established that fastball inside, start at middle of the plate and have that sweep off the outside corner and down. Two balls, two strikes. He tried it. This started on the outside corner a little bit too late. Start in the middle and then run it down and away. Trust that movement. He has a good arm. This one looped down toward left field, and that is going to fall in for a hit. And Ortega comes up with it on the short hop to lead off single. Angels will be taking on the Twins Wednesday, June 15th at 7.05. As fans in attendance will receive a canvas beach backpack courtesy of Chevron Extra Mile while supplies last. Visit angels.com slash promotions for tickets. Oh, there she is. She's a beauty. Yes, indeed. That's what the tube said. <laughs> Parmalee cuts through that pitch. No one count. Double at a home run for Chris Parmalee. The shift on, thinking about pushing one up the third base line. So he's had a big game tonight, double and a home run. You mentioned the uh, the slider for Malik. That's been an issue against left-handed batters, especially. They came in batting 314 against him. Goes up with the base hit by Gregorius. Right, he's hitting 281 against Greg. Escobar now in on the grass at third. Two one pitch. And that is hammered out toward right center field. And that is hit well. Second home run of the night for Chris Parmalee. As he went down and got it, make it 10 to 5, New York. This pitch is down, mislocation. That was supposed to be a fastball away. See Carlos Perez reaching back across the plate. Most left handed batters love that fastball down and in. Third home run of the game for the Yankees. Talked about why in our opening day, why the Angels have struggled here of late in this ballpark. It's been, been at homer now, once again in this game. 
Oakland in the game 14 to 6 in the seven game losing streak against the Yankees. Three tonight for the Yankees, two for the Angels. Third career multi homer game for Parmalee. Torres bounces it foul. It's two balls and a strike. Torres, the third baseman tonight, 0 for 3. The ground out, two fly ball outs. Bouncer foul. Trey is uh, an angel for uh, a brief, brief moment in January. He got traded uh, to the Yankees on January 12th. They put him on waivers. The Angels selected him off waivers on the 25th, and then on February 1st, the Angels put him back on waivers. Claimed by the Yankees, and uh, Escobar's throw pulls Marte off the bag. Yeah, it's an error on Yudel Escobar. This is ninth error of the season. He's able to get there. It seems like whenever you know has a little bit too much time as far as getting himself ready to throw the ball, he'll drop his elbow and that throw runs right in towards the runner going down the line. Here's Halsbury. Looks at a strike. He's been on base four times. Double home run. Catcher's interference. It'll walk, and he has scored three runs. Five for seven in the series. Still an amazing stat. Six times catcher's interference. There's only been two other times the whole year in the American League. At that point, as a catcher, whether it's the Angels, or anybody else, just set up back yeah. even further. It's almost as if with two strikes, he kind of takes a little longer approach, like like that one there. Again, to his credit, he's trying to put the ball in play when he's behind in the count. That catcher's interference kept the inning alive, and then Gardner got the single that brought in uh, Parmley. This one's out toward left field. Ortega's there. One down. One out, one on, and it's Brett Gardner coming to the plate. Three hit game for the left fielder. Two singles, a double, two RBIs. Mally, the third reliever used by Mike Sosha. Weaver went five and a third. Alvarez saw two batters. Bedrosian two thirds of an inning. Now Malley here in the bottom of the seventh. Jam shot toward third. Escobar goes to Petit for one. And uh, boy, Gardner wasn't running hard. Yeah, Couldn't it be a lot closer than it should have been? Absolutely. He slows down at that point, thinking there was not going to be a throw over to first yeah. base. Made it interesting. So two outs now with Gardner at first. That's a 5-6 put out. Second base for round number two. Carlos Beltran, two for three. Single, a double. An RBI and a run score. Halos in the eighth have the bottom third of their order coming up. Anthony Swarzak's worked an inning and two-thirds so far. One ball, one strike. One, one. This one's down the left field line, and that one is gone. A two run blast for Carlos Beltran. And it's 12 to 5, New York. 16th home run of the season for Carlos. Man, we talked about that lowest at bats to home run ratio earlier 
for Beltron. 13.73, which is 10th best. That one out of the ballpark. Break a ball, ran into the inner part of the plate, no doubt, out of the ballpark. 14th, 16th, I should say, for Beltron. A four run seventh inning all charge of Greg Malley. Deolis Guerra coming out of relief. We are in the seventh, and it's all Yankees. With two outs and nobody on, Greg Malley done after two thirds of an inning gives up four runs, only two earned because of the error by Yunel Escobar. Dale Escara takes over on the mound. This will be his fifth game with the Angels, one and zero record. He's got a total of seven innings, and he's allowed four earned runs. First action in the uh, series for Guerra, who ended up picking up the win on Sunday. He went an inning and two thirds, and had three strikeouts, picking up his first win as an Angel. He's going to face Alex Rodriguez here. Rodriguez two for four with a couple of singles. First pitch for a strike. Break a ball there from Guerra ahead of the count. Against Rodriguez getting to chase something out of his zone right now. Oh, two. Down goes Rodriguez on three pitches. We are through seven as the Yankees tack on four. They lead a 12 5 as we head to the eighth.
inning here in the Bronx with the Yankees leading the Angels 12 to 5. Kirby Yates is on for the Yankees. I'm Patrick O'Neill asking you to stick around for Angels Live, brought to you by your SoCal Mazda dealers. After this game, I'll be joined by Jose Moda at this point. Probably too many Yankee highlights to show you. We'll have to talk about Carlos Beltran, who has been a one man wrecking crew this entire series. Jared Weaver, the Angels bullpen, and still some game left to go in this one. But guys, how about Gregorio Petit? He'll be batting third up in, in this inning. He's 11 for his last 26. Four straight multi hit games. Considering that Anderton Simmons possibly back within a week, do you see room on this Angels roster for Petit and what he's shown? 31 years old, 13 years in the minors, and he's really proud of the job he's been doing. No yeah. question that he's earned a spot on this ball club. No doubt. He might, might even, uh, if Johnny Giovatella keeps struggling, you could easily move Gregorio Petit over to second base. And he's, he's if hit they the, want to do that. He's hit the ball well. He's defended each position he's been put in. At this point, you can't send somebody like that down. No. You got to ride that pony as long as you can. You just never know. Here's Kirby Yates. Rafael Ortega leads things off. Yates fastball 91 to 94 a lot of sliders occasional curveball and changeup. Yankees purchasing Yates from the Cleveland Indians. 24th game 2 0 record of 3 6 8 ERA. Last couple of seasons with the Tampa Bay Rays. One ball, one strike. Ortega, two for three with a double and a single. He's also grounded out. New right fielder for the Yankees. Aaron Hicks takes over for Carlos Beltran. No other changes. One ball, two strikes. Two two. This one's foul back. Astros and Rangers still tied at one of the bottom of the sixth inning. Rangers pulled you Darvish from their game tonight. Precautionary reasons. Right shoulder tightness. Full count. Kansas City ended up losing to Baltimore. So that's seven straight for the Royals. They got shut out tonight, four nothing. Especially after that game last night, bench clearing brawl between Baltimore and Kansas City. Trying to beat Detroit seven to two. Tampa Bay over Arizona six to three. Ground ball to the right side. That's Starling Castro. One down. Hey, Pepsi Mojis will take over Angel Stadium on Tuesday, June 14th. Halo's taking on the Twins at 7.05. Pepsi set to break a world record with Pepsi Moji, and fans can stay after the game for a special performance by Grace and Flo Rida. Visit angel.com slash promotions to get your tickets. One out, nobody on for Carlos Perez. Other scores in the American League. Miami leading Minnesota 5-4 in the sixth inning. Cleveland and Seattle they get underway in about 10 minutes. They are up at Safeco. Milwaukee, by the way, leading Oakland 4 0. Another no hitter for Milwaukee going deeper in the game against Oakland again today. Chase Anderson is a no hitter into the sixth inning against so Oakland. Davies last night? Yes.
Carlos fouling it off. No balls, two strikes on Carlos. Is open three. Dale Scare will work the uh, bottom of the eighth inning. Carlos lines went out to left field. It's a base hit with one out here in the eighth. So man on for Gregorio Petit. Two for three with a home run and a single. Oklahoma is able to get a base hit, break up that no hitter in the sixth inning. Jake Smolinski. With that knock. Five runs, 12 hits, no errors. The Angels have stranded seven. The Yankees with 12 runs on 15 hits. They've left seven on base themselves. One ball, one strike. Check swing foul one and two. Swarzak for the Yankees won an inning in two thirds. Allowed one hit and had two strikeouts. He's the pitcher of record for New York. Weaver on the hook for the Angels. Allowed six runs and five and a third on nine hits. Call strike three, two down. He ran that fastball, looked like it was going to be off the outside corner, runs it back and gets the corner. Usually you see that pitch against left handed batters. Starts away, then runs back and catches the corner. There are Fox tracks. Two outs for Yanel Escobar, who's one for four, singled in the sixth inning. Shoots this one down the right field line. It's a fair ball. Hicks over to cut it off. Does so. Perez will head over to third. Escobar with his second hit of the night. The Angels have runners at the corners here with two outs for Cole Calhoun. Only 13 hits. In the game for the Angels. That's the frustrating thing about it. Five runs, 13 hits, and you're behind in this game. Cole one for three with a double. Cole. 
Cole two for ten of the series. The double that he had back at the first, his 11th of the year. Count even up at a ball and a strike. Eight total runs scored by the Yankees over the last two innings. Difference in this one. One and two. Very similar to game one of this series, scoring two in the seventh and then three in the eighth. Some late runs, early runs yesterday for the Yankees. Perez over third base. Escobar at first. One, two, fouled back. Yankees starting to get action in their bullpen now. Gates at 21 pitches. A seven run lead. You got Nick Goody getting ready. Breaking pitch, not like it broke his bat. Castro is there. He'll feed Yates and almost throws it wildly. But they get the third out as we head to the bottom of the eighth inning. It's 12 to 5, New York. Baseball night in America is one of the best rivalries in baseball. Giants taking on the Dodgers in a 6.30 p.m. Pacific on FS1. Indians taking on the Angels in a game you can only see on FS1 or you can watch it live on Fox Sports Go. Dale Escara back out of the mound here for the bottom of the eighth inning. 12 to 5, New York leads it. McCann, Castro, and Gregorius to the scheduled three batters. Dale Escara came on in the uh, seventh inning and struck out A-Rod to get out of that seventh. Quick Malley went two thirds of an inning, gave up three hits, two of which were home runs. Allowed four runs, but only two earned because of the um, error by Yunel Escobar. Brian McCannell, one for four game, had a two RBI single in the sixth inning.
One ball, one strike. Give it, tell him. Goes into the slide, has it. One down. Here comes Starling Castro. Castro hit list tonight, 0 for 4. And Torrey is the only starters without a hit. Even to count up at one ball, one strike. It's a real good off speed pitch by Garrett once again. He stays on top of that baseball very well. This is hit to the left side, and that'll sneak through. So make that Torreya is the only starter without a hit. 16th hit of the night for New York. Didi Gregori is coming to the plate. He's singled off Greg Mallon to start the seventh. One for four night. Got a pinch runner at first base now. Rob Ref Snyder. Starling Castro comes out of the ball game. Marte playing behind Ref Snyder. At a 12 5 game in the eighth. Like uh, Nick Goody continuing to loosen for the Yankees in their bullpen. Halos have Trout, Pujols, and Marte coming up. Ninth inning. One one. And that is pulled down the right field line. That is a fair ball. Ref Snyder on his way to third, and he will be stopped there as Gregorius picks up a double. So second and third with one out now here in the eighth. His second hit of the game. Gregorius had their single, his last at bat. Chris Parmley coming up. He's had a big game for New York. Three hits, a double, and two home runs, three RBIs, three runs scored. Takes a strike. Coming in this game, Parmley, one career home run against the Angels. Two tonight now. Three now in his career. A one pitch. Crossed yeah. up. Yeah, definitely cross up there looking for something upstairs as far as fastball.
frustrating for Mike Sosha tonight, especially when you see your offense come out and score your five runs and 13 hits, yet you're behind by quite a bit. Two balls, one strike. Caught the outside corner. Two balls, two strikes. Ture is on deck. Ref Snyder standing at third base. Gregorius at second. Two two from Garrow. Oh, he tied him up nice with a fastball. Two down. An off speed pitch, the pitch before it runs that 90 mile an hour fastball. Could not get the bat head out, tied him up inside, tried to bring his hands inside, but no contact. Torres over four, reached in the seventh inning on the error by Escobar. Twenty three year old native of Venezuela. What ball would strike? Oh, the breaking pitch. Two balls, one strike. 20 pitches thrown by Garrett. 13 strikes. There's two punch outs so far. Three and one. Jacoby Ellsbury's on deck. Wind just whipped up all of a sudden. You can see the uh, uniform pants of Garum. Out of nowhere. Yeah. Smart move to step off, too. Here's a 3 1. Full count. Crazy thing about that, then it just basically it stopped. Full count with two outs and two on. Here's payoff. Torreya strikes out swinging. We head to the ninth inning with the Angels trailing at 12 to 5.
Ninth inning, Nick Goody takes over on the mound for New York. This will be his uh, 13th game, no record of 4.30 ERA. 14 and two third innings, 15 strikeouts and just four walks. And he gets to face Trout Pools and Marte here in the ninth inning. And yeah, fastball is 88-93 and a slider. There's a lot of sliders, sinker slider pitcher. Trout tonight two for four with an RBI single in the first inning a double with a run score into the fifth. Goody by the way takes over for Yates who went one inning allowed two hits struck out one. Foul back. Double balls, two strikes. Goody, a sixth round pick, 2012, by the Yankees at uh, LSU. Trout pops this one up behind the plate. Can will give it a look, but it's out of play. Good, he did get to the big leagues last year, pitching seven games, no record. 4 7 6 ERA. O2 again. Way outside. One and two. <laughs> Slightly overthrown slider. Back to back pitch is overthrown. And once again, even though behind in the count 0-2, Trout's even up in the count. Well, that shot he hit the center field back in the fifth inning. Back-to-back -back doubles with Trout and Pujols. Trout drives one out to deep right center field. That is a no-doubter. Third hit of the game, his 13th home run of the season, and it is 12 to 6 New York. Well, this when you think he can't top a swing, like we just mentioned that in the fifth inning, that double right off the 408 sign. This one, the right center field, and it was crushed by Trout. 13th home run of the season. The Trout. Fastball right out over the plate. Got that foot down and the barrel of the bat looking to drive the ball into that jet stream, the right center field, and it went a long way that way. And a nice play. Fifth home run here at Yankee Stadium for Trout. Albert swings and misses on a slider. Pools one for four with an RBI double. And Albert hits one out to deep left field. Gardner's back. Back pedals onto the track, puts it away for the first out. Oh, was that baseball crushed? Defense. 
Marte two for four single and a home run. Jeffrey getting to start at first base tonight 24th game of the big leagues at first. And Marte goes down swinging for out number two. All Yankees from the uh, sixth inning on. They are one out away, extending the Angels losing streak at Yankee Stadium to eight games. Handles on the wrong end of this one, 12 to six. The two outs here in the ninth. Givatel an 0 for four game. Drive this one out toward right field. Aaron Hicks is there. And the Yankees have made it three in a row to start the series tonight, the final 12 to 6. And again, it's that home run swing for the Yankees in this game, especially from Parmalee. And some good at bats later on in the game. You see, end up scoring eight runs in the sixth and seventh innings combined to win this one 12 to 6 against the Angels. Even though the Angels scored six runs on 14 hits, not enough. Not enough, and the Bulls were unable to hold it. Had some opportunities in the middle part of the game to add to their lead, but that's just how things played out tonight. 12-6, the final stick around Angels Live. Post game coming up next.